Hey, I'm Anfa. I am Liblast's co-founder, designer, and core developer, also project lead. Uh, Liblast is now undergoing a complete overhaul slash refactor slash rewrite. So as of February 2024, the existing game is no longer going to receive any updates, attention. Uh, we're going to archive it and we're going to take all the good stuff and put it back one by one onto a new structure. Uh, I've closed the pull request for the Liblast repository to avoid any wasted effort. If you're worried about the future of the project, don't be worried. Liblast now has a brighter future than it ever had. We have a team of three dedicated people with very different and complementary skill sets working on the game every day. Let's say almost every day. So why do we start over? Me and the boys found that the project structure was not really maintainable and scalable. Uh, despite my best efforts, a lot of things got closely coupled and entangled, and <laughs> making it really hard to find bugs and add features. I personally take the blame because most of the code is my own and I am not a professional software developer. I am a professional artist. However, Combustible Lemonade, who is the other co-founder of the project, is a professional programmer. So now there's three of us. Me, Yosoy Freeman, who's doing awesome programming work as well, by the way, and Combustible Lemonade. And I think together we have the expertise to make sure the new design is going to work long term. I think together we are able to build the Liblest anew in a way that will ensure it's forever manageable and maintainable. Also, it's not like all of the existing work is like um, wasted. No, we're gonna like take stuff out of it. A lot of great ideas are going to be salvaged. Uh, some of it will need to be redone. But, you know, having the experience of doing it once already makes it much, much easier and faster to redo it, um, this time in a more manageable way. So far, we have set up automated tests so that um, we'll be able to find out immediately if we broke something, because, you know, fixing something three months after you broke it is infinitely worse than fixing it five minutes after you broke it. Our new design uh, separates the game's systems or framework from the game's content or data. This means that Liblast, the game, is a piece of content made for Liblast, the framework. And anybody could take that framework and make their own game. Of course, respecting the AGPL license. Originally, I planned to push the game as is through the 1.0 release, uh, which would be like a minimum viable product. But it became apparent that I don't have the resources to do it. It would be very painful and not very productive and not fun at all. And if I, I think if I try to push through it, I just kill my own excitement and dedication to, to do this project and nobody would really want to join that because of the mess there is. So starting over we can fix all of the existing problems with bad design and coupling and entanglement and you know having one thing like my character script is like I don't know a thousand lines long and it, like it does everything and that's really bad and yeah not, not much stuff is like reusable because of that and this is very very poor software design and this is also a great time to join the project because if you join now you know you can have a tremendous impact of the on the game uh, we're designing things and you we're figuring out new structures designs uh, ways to organize different modules and how they were going to interact and, you know, trying to figure out all the possibilities that we want to keep opened and, you know, not make something that will shut us off from things that may come in the future. 
So if you're interested in the project and would like to contribute, uh, get in touch. All the contact information is in the description and on our website, libla.st. There's a lot of awesome work to be done here, and we are okay with sharing some of that. If you wonder what exactly, um, well, lots of software design and GD script programming, programming networking, uh, currently I'm doing that, designing new UI and UX system, we want to have like, you know, reusable custom widgets that you can like build your user interfaces from, and these widgets would also have audio and animation capabilities in them from the start, and also, you know, like logging what the user did to have you know, statistics of like what people do use, what they don't use, so we can find out what's broken maybe, um, even if nobody tells us. Um, what else? Um, yeah, uh, 3D level design and environment art. Um, Yosui Freeman has done amazing work with materials, so we had like a a basis for for um, for environment art, and we also had a I also made a shader for like terrain with various things. So like we have some resources, but we need to like re take them into account again. Like think wider perspective, Oops. think in a wider perspective how they are going to work together. And you know, so for example, if you're doing like shaders, uh, yeah, uh, so technical art as well. You know, uh, concept art and art direction. If you are a visionary artist and would like to like you know draw, create environments, create like ideas for environments or ideas for weapons or characters, or you want to model that or you want to animate any of that. Uh, come over. Uh, animation, yeah. Uh, promotion also. Like, we have social stuff, we have Mastodon account, we have a YouTube channel, and I would be very happy to hand the keys over for someone who would, like, you know, just take the good stuff that, that they see in the project, uh, you know, make short videos or whatever, make posts and tell people. Um, but there's also, you know, playtesting. We're going to need to have people play the game and we want to... Uh, we want to do this possible as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's see. I want to do this... I want to have this possible as, as fast as, as we can, so there's already, you know, possible playtesting on the very simplest things we, we have to done. Like, first thing is to have just characters running around the level and having that synchronized over network. Um, you know, and then we add shooting, and then we add, you know, like, network, like, late, late compensation and client-side prediction and, you know, interpolation when packets are lost and stuff, and simulating bad networking conditions uh, so we can test all the various things that can go wrong uh, when you play over the internet. Uh, you know, also, like, designing the networking architecture, like, what kind of servers do we want to host and what, what will they do? What are the protocols of communication between these servers? Like, we have a gate for authentication server, and we have a content, like, delivery server, and, uh, like, telemetry core collecting and processing server, and and individual game servers and like also cryptography and cybersecurity because uh, we need to like ensure that people can be sure they don't have a legit client or a legit server binary that will not do crazy things and that only these can connect to the official network for example so you can't like you know modify your client and join an official game and uh, mess with people because you know this is especially going to be important because we're an open source project so if i can look at the code and say oh haha, there's a hole i'm not gonna have some fun uh, we want to make the game fun not breaking the game fun as much uh, also yeah statistics because we're gonna aggregate what people do and what they don't do and try to find out like what's wrong with the game maybe or when we do something good or like you know, we might be doing a b testing uh if we're not sure about balance and you know compare different groups what how they reacted to this i don't know there's a lot of interesting stuff to be done here and you know to collect some data and like also figure out uh statistics for users themselves like you know their performance in the game with different weapons and that kind of thing i don't know uh, and we even could use some legal help as well because you know we want to have optional user accounts and log in and this like you know there's general data protection regulation and other stuff and uh age of consent and stuff and sharing, you know, anonymous data versus sharing personal data and how we store it and stuff, you know, we need your help. <laughs> so all the contact information is in our website, on our website, liblast. <laughs> so all the contact information, again, is on our website, libla.st and in the, this video description as well. Yeah, see you there and take care.